2010. Talking Stick Resort Arena is currently undergoing a $230 million facelift. The building first opened up nearly 30 years ago under a different name, but it was just in time to welcome the incomparable Hall of Famer Charles Barkley to town. Team 12's Bruce Cooper shares with us Barkley's walk down memory lane. America West Arena first opened its doors in 1992 to a Phoenix Suns team that featured Charles Barkley. And what a magical season it was. The Suns won an NBA best 62 games. Barkley was named the league's MVP with the Suns making it all the way to the NBA Finals where they would lose in six games to Michael Jordan and the Bulls. Speaking to the media today by way of a video conference call, Barkley reflected on some memories from that season. You know, because when I first came to Phoenix, I was sitting around with Cotton. I said, Cotton, this is what's going to happen. I said, we're going to win the West, and we're going to play the Bulls in the finals. And he says, how do you know that? I said, because I think I'm the best player uh, in the world. I just haven't had any help. And I said, we're going to play the Bulls for the championship, and I'm going to get an opportunity to play against Michael, and I can't wait. I says, giving me Kevin Johnson and Dan Marley, I'm good. The fans here were crazy. Uh, it was electric every night. By his own admission, Barkley's best game ever was his 44-point, 24-rebound performance in Game 7 of the Western Conference Finals against the Sonics, a performance that was inspired by reserve guard Frank Johnson's talk to Barkley following a Game 6 loss in Seattle. I said, Frank, how can I get this team energy up? and get everybody ready to go for game seven. And Frank says, oh, I'm not worried about game seven. I'm worried about you. I said, what do you mean? He says, Charles, this team going to follow you. You got to play the best game you ever played. You never been to the finals. It's the best team you probably ever been on. If you play, we will follow. Barkley also fondly recalled the downtown parade for the Suns, one in which security had to whisk him away after adoring fans rushed his convertible. They just um, surrounded my car and we couldn't move. And I remember just looking out. I, they took me up to Jerry's office and uh, I just watched uh, humanity. Uh, but man, like I say, uh, the fans in Phoenix have always treated me great. Uh, one of the reasons I love living here, I'm never leaving here. It's it's just a, it was just an awesome time. And if you're wondering what Barkley is doing during this social distancing time, I've been riding my bike every day. Uh, but man, you got to do something, man, because there's nothing happening and doing nothing is never good. Bruce Cooper, 12 Sports.